Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about our CAW or our carbon absorbing wall. Every room has low frequency problems. Every room has low frequency problems on all the surface areas. Front wall, rear wall, both side walls, floor and ceiling. So we have six surface areas all exhibiting problems all exhibiting different frequency and amplitude problems, okay? We got those three sound fields we have to work with, sidewall, sidewall, front to rear, and floor to ceiling. So we have to go after these three sound fields using the six surface areas in the room. And with the current rates and levels of technology in the marketplace, you're looking at 50, 60, 70% coverage of those surface areas to really have a large impact. Big difference between our technology and other companies' technology, if you use 50, 60 percent, 70 percent surface area coverage, you get predictable and consistent results. With most companies and their products in the marketplace, you could fill the whole room up with the product and you still won't treat the lower frequency issues correctly. And we provide guarantees for that. Diaphragmic absorption. It's a cabinet, right? It's got sides, a back, and a front wall. The difference is the front wall is the diaphragm. It's like a speaker, it's gonna move. We don't plug it in, it's a passive device, but it re responds to pressure exerted upon it. Starts to move, slows the pressure wave down, then the pressure wave enters inside the cabinet. And guess what's inside the cabinet? The carbon technology. And that lowers the pressure level inside the cabinet. So the wave, the pressure wave that enters the cabinet is now in a different pressure area than what it was created in. So it collapses. That's how we get attenuation, okay? So if we have a cabinet depth, we can determine resident frequency. The density of the cabinet, how much it weighs, will also contribute to resident frequency. How low it goes, front wall, is the diaphragmatic plate if you will, that responds to pressure. Think about a speaker. It's got a driver that moves with, you know, electricity, pushing it. Diaphragmatic absorber, face moves with a pressure wave. So it's the opposite. The speaker is emitting en energy and the diaphragmatic absorber is absorbing energy. So two different processes. So the big thing about the CAW is if we're gonna frame our walls out in any critical listening room, which is the best material to use, wood, we're gonna get a two by 12 stud. It's deep. Most walls are two by four, two by six, two by eight if you're lucky. Two by 12 is a specialty situation because we need that 12 inches of depth to get the resident frequency that we want. We can get down to 30 Hertz in 12 inches. That's pretty low, okay? So we need that depth, two by 12 depth, every 14 and a half inches. Why 14 and a half inches? 14 and a half inches is the diff distance between studs that are 16 inches on center. The space here is 14 and a half, okay? In the United States, most other places too, okay? So we've got the ability between the studs to install individual diaphragmatic absorbers. Oh my gosh, think about this. This gives you the ability to tune the room every 14 and a half inches. And we know from our you know, data and stuff that we work with with pressure that most room modes, 30, 40, 50 cycle modes, they're about three feet wide. So if we go after three feet, 36 inches every 14, Look what we can do to that mode. We can really go after it. That's in surface area coverage, but just a big, just as large hammer is the depth. Let's see what we have that here. Oh, the carbon filter. We can adjust the rate of absorption of the filter by increasing the depth of it, adding more carbon. Our standard carbon filter is about three and a half. Four produces higher rate, four and a half, another higher rate. It's that sensitive. Every half inch contributes to increased rate of absorption. 
The internal cabinet fill is all about how much energy you get at each octave pan. The depth of the 2x12 studs, where's that at? The depth of the 2x12 studs gives us the resident frequency or how low it goes. Now, if we don't have 12 inches, we can do 2x10s. But then we're going to be down as a base at 40 cycles. Okay, that might work. That might be right for your usage. There's no right or wrong here. You have to judge what's best for your usage and budget and space requirement. If we can't do 10, well, then let's do 8. Then we go down to 50. So it's all predictable. It's all linear. So we can dial it in. We can calculate it. We can put cost to it and go from there. All right. Room guaranteed response. When we build new rooms from the ground up, we guarantee that response from 30 to 20K plus or minus 2 dB. You won't find another company in the business that'll do that. We will. We'll put our money where our mouth is. That's how certain we are of our technology. Carbon absorbing wall, we'll probably put a link. Go on the website and see it. It's project number 24 under the project section. So go check it out. That'll give you a graphic representation of how it works. We have a DIY program for this process. We can sell you the carbon and the drawings for our carbon filter, do all the design for you, and you can build the filters and do the installing. A lot of people like it. If you like working with wood, it's a fun project. Now, every wall is going to be a little bit different, so you're going to be building a lot of the same filter, but they're going to be different thicknesses because each wall surface is going to demand every 14 and a half inches a higher rate based on the frequency and the amplitude at that wall location. It's all different, but we can tune the room and we'll help you with that. Carbon absorbing wall. That's what we use to manage low frequency energy and there's nothing like it with that kind of horsepower. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.